Hello everyone, this is Diane. I'm here to show you a little project that I did. I um, wanted to enter this as a design team um, audition, I guess, for Artsology. And um, I didn't see the call. She had a video of a call for design team members. Um, so I think it was out for a month before I saw it. So it's due um, the 15th. So I've been working on this and you haven't seen a glimpse of it at all because um, I've done it all downstairs pretty much while I'm watching TV with collaging. I did some of it up here and the cover of course I did up here. The only sewing in the in the entire journal is on the cover. So it's a cute little project and I'm thinking I want to um, do another one on camera so you can see how I made it because it's different from things you've seen before. So I went to her site to see what she had to see if I wanted to enter for the design team and I fell in love with these. As soon as I saw these I knew I needed to make them whether I entered them or not I needed to make them so they are uh, oh, I'm sorry inter is it inter office I'm getting a real one interdepartment envelopes this is a great big one that I purchased from Lori Jagadish's shop a long time ago and I wanted to make a journal out of it and I haven't done it yet I actually have two of them so I thought they were really cool. So when I real saw that she had made them in colors and in a smaller size for the purpose of putting them in junk journals, I knew I had to make them. So here's how they come. I have them printed in a few different. So they come in three colors and it's all in one kit. So you get pink, green, and blue. This is what they look like printed on uh, cream vellum. So this is the pink one, and it, in each envelope has three pages that you have to cut, and it comes with instructions. And this is what it looks like printed on white. You can see the difference. So this looks a little more aged, and this looks bright and fresh. And then there's the... <coughs> I guess that's the blue. I don't know. Oh, it's blue and yellow. So the blue looks kind of green because I printed it on the cream cardstock. So that's what they look like and I will go into details on how to put them together when I do um, the second journal. This journal I believe I'm going to be putting in my shop um, next week sometime. So you can see that I constructed the cover out of vintage flashcards and they're they I wanted to be able to use just the flash cards you could see both sides of it but it was a little bit too lightweight so I just took this white cardboard that I've had and um, cut it to size and stitched the uh, flash cards to it and then uh, some seven gypsies ledger paper. It's an 8x8 eight eight pad of ledger paper. So that's on the inside. So what I did was I wanted to make a journal with the envelopes, not just stick them in a journal. I wanted them to be the main focus. So I was going to just do it like this with no, with no cover, just use one of these as the cover and nothing else but the envelopes. But it kind of grew as I went along. I, I selected some of her. She has tear pages. Her name is Deb, and um, she has Artsology um, YouTube channel and Etsy shop, and I will link them both below. So I purchased her tear papers. I'll show you some. That's what she calls them, tear papers, but you could certainly fold it and use it as a page that's already collaged for you. So that's one of them. There's another. There's another and that one. I think these were in sets of two. And then there was another set of two that I purchased. And they're flowers. I don't have full ones to show you, but they're just full of flowers like this. 
but you could use anything to collage on there. I, I actually purchased five, five sets of paper because there were three sets of tear pages and one set with the envelopes. So I hope I haven't confused you with all of that. Another thing that I used in the journal were some of my vintage ledgers. I know you want me to show you the journal, right? So I have this Weed & Company um, want book. It's very vintage and it's got these kind of shiny pages actually. So I used that and the science notebook and just some ledger papers that I have. It's all vintage. So let's take a look at the book. Oh, another thing I used were um, Rachel from Ro Roxy Creations, her little um, purple and green labels. When you buy the set, I think you get three or four sheets of labels and some of them are tiny like this. And I use some of them and I also use some of my genuine vintage household labels. So you will see all of these things as we go through the book. So I gave it a spine, um, maybe one and a quarter. And I, on the next one, I would make it smaller. It doesn't need to be that big. I covered the spine with um, Tim Holtz fabric. And a, a doily is there to hold on the seam binding for tying it shut. And I stitched on some vintage lace. So there are quite a few genuine vintage articles in here. Some ribbon lines the the fabric. So here is the pink one and they, these were printed on gray parchment so they even look different from what I just showed you. So I folded it, I constructed the envelope and folded it, punched the little holes in it and I will show you all that when I do the next video on this. And I used the tear pages and inked around each piece that I tore out and just collaged on the pages. And that's just a piece of ledger paper. I think. Maybe that's part of her tear paper. Yeah, I think it is. And she has that green ledger. And then I thought I need to have something inside the envelopes too. There's some more collaging there. One mistake I made was I did not put these on before I put the envelopes together. So I can't put that on. Um, hmm. I have them made. Trying to, oh, I know what I did with them. I know where they are. But I'm going to, I don't know if I can, but I'm going to see if I can glue it on and glue the, the, the thread here and have it wound around. If not, this is here for decoration. So there's some more collaging on that side. And then inside, I cut craft cardstock for each pocket. And there will be six pockets. There are three envelopes, but they're folded. And so there are six pockets. So this is where I used my genuine ledger paper. I used my Uhu glue, and I don't think it works very well gluing to the, the cardstock, so I'm gonna fix that with some tacky glue. <clears throat> it works great on paper to paper. It holds really well, but I had trouble getting it to stick to the parchment and to the cardstock. So that's what I had downstairs while I was working, but I'm fixing it with the tacky glue, whatever's coming loose. And there's one of my very vintage labels on that side, so you can journal on that side. You could journal here too if you wanted to. You can do some writing on the envelopes. You could take the cards out and use the envelopes for lists, um, coupons, um, uh, receipts, whatever. Whatever you want to do, there are six envelopes in here. So here's one of the tear pages. In between the envelopes, I just cut down the tear pages and used them as a page. So there's one of them. And I just inked the back side and left it plain. You can write on it or glue more stuff. So there's a blue page, a blue envelope with collaging on it. And these are all pieces from her tear sheets. And this one, I put the middle one with the flap on the opposite side. And so the side that doesn't have the flap, I just trimmed off the top so you have a pocket here. And there's, I think that's upside down, there's the card for in there. I used some mulberry paper and some vintage um, piano music. And that's my very favorite ledger paper with pink and purple and blue lines on it. 
So this was really fun to make. I would I was working on the Victorian journals during the day, and then in the evening when I watched TV, I was collaging on these because that was playtime for me. It's caught on something. I'll work on that. So there's some more collaging with her images. Here's the next tear sheet that I left intact. And some more collaging. This was the yellow one and it's on gray so it, it looks a lot different. This one is on the cream color and then this one is on white. So there's quite a difference in the color depending on what paper you print them on, of course. This is a sheet of 1930s. Um, it's a bill sheet, I guess. But anyway, I've had, I've had this paper for a while and I love it. And then that's another part of that paper with a vintage label on it. And there's the center. I used um, 32 pound um, presentation paper to print these on so it's got a really nice smooth feel to it. It's a very nice paper. There's room here for writing and some more collaging here. This, this actually is all one piece. This was collaged digitally, and then I just added this piece behind it. Some more bits. This is from the science notebook with someone's notes on their um, experiment. I thought it was pretty cool and then room to journal. This is one of the blank pages from that notebook. It says observations and computations. And this is one of Rachel's labels. And there's a blue envelope and this is um, some trim. I think I scanned that. I think it was a doily or something, a table runner that I scanned myself. But it's anyway, it's a printed lace on there and some more collaging. This is from the want book from the hardware store. I love that owl. And this is a vintage label from my little label book. Here's the last side of the envelope. This is a little scrap from ledger paper, vintage ledger paper. And this one, I think that page is from that science notebook also. On one of Rachel's labels. So it's a little book. Um, Four and, four and a half by six and a half. And it doesn't have a ton of pages, but the pages are envelopes. And so there's lots of room for, for writing. You can write on the covers, on the inside here, on the envelopes. And in the envelopes, you can always stick more things in there. And then there's room to write on the papers. So this is a really, really fun little book. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope that you'll go look at Artsology's, Artsology's um, Etsy store and see all the great printables she has there. I'm excited to be, if she puts me on her team, I'm excited to be able to use some more of the kits that she has. So there you go, and I will let you know when this will be in my shop. I'm not sure when. It'll be um, one day next week, I think. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.